Scorpio, hey, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to Hadia KK Dropping Gems. I will be doing some moon rising, Mars, Mercury, and Venus for my Scorpio babies. November 1st through 15, 2019. I want to appreciate all the love, the likes, the shares, the comments. You guys for growing the family. Continue to do so. Like this channel, subscribe. All right, turn on notifications so you'll be notified of these videos. All right, baby. We're going to go ahead and see what's going on. November 1st through 16th for my Scorpio babies. I have my love oils, clarity oils, prosperity protection kits, my sugar scrubs, um, as well as my yoni steams, three to four different flavors, my feminine washes. I have an amazing sale, $25 via Cash App. You guys can email me your full name and your focus, and we can go ahead and get started, guys, all right? I ain't even started yet, but they wanted to talk, so I'm going to let it. I'm going to take these, all right? So, Scorpios, for the November 4th, for November 1st, through 15th, Paige and Ariel, an excellent opportunity will be offered to you, scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. So, I feel like a lot of you guys can be uh, looking back into school. This could be studying, researching, okay? You guys can be also getting some type of opportunity in scholarship or, like I said, schooling. This is some type of new offer as well, okay? Some of you guys can also be a student, taking up some type of classes as well. The Five of Gabriel, a challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama, drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. So, five, five, five. I feel like you guys can be definitely, um, you can be going through some type of challenges or conflicts within self. I definitely feel like you guys can be withdrawing from from other people at this time but I'm also getting like you're taking a gentle approach this can be healing okay but you're being angelic guided to put the pieces together I'm also getting put in the pieces together of self okay so I'm also getting some of you guys can be wanting to go to some type of library museum okay take some type of trip this can be like I'm getting books so I'm just getting school this can be a library this can be some type of coliseum museum okay You can also be realizing that there's missing, piece, there's missing pieces. Like, you see how there's four missing pieces in this puzzle? It's kind of like, Scorpio, I feel like you guys are realizing that there's missing pieces in your puzzle, in your life. You could be feeling like there's missing pieces, whether this is actual people, situations. Five, 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 it can be very significant. So there's different changes that you guys are going through, okay? Mind, body, and soul, spirit. Scorpio, thank you, Spirit. What messages do I have for my lovely Scorpios? November 1st through 15, 2019. Thank you, Sun, Moon, Rising. Mars, Mercury, Venus, collectively. Thank you, Spirit. What messages do I have for my lovely Scorpios? I'm going to take these right here. Okay, so, Scorpios, I have the Ten of Wands. And the Five of Cups reverse. I definitely feel like you guys are letting go of burdens, responsibilities, tasks, obligations. I feel like you guys are really focusing on um, yourself, like really taking care of yourself. I do feel like you guys are emotionally shifting or you're shifting your emotions when it comes to being flighty or in and out of people's lives. The Knight of Wands reverse. I'm also getting you don't want to be in and out of people's lives or you don't want people to be in and out of your life the knight of wands of virgins this can also be some type of offer of passion so i'm definitely getting communication i'm getting um someone 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 was coming in and out of your life or you were coming in and out of somebody else's life and i feel like now now someone is taking a slow and gradual approach towards you here. I definitely feel like you could be shifting your emotions and taking a gradual approach towards this person because maybe you are in and out of their life. That's what I'm hearing. And this could have been another Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I honestly feel like you guys are shifting your emotions because you're realizing that you are in and out of people's lives. And that's a reflection of, of like people are only going to treat you how you treat them. That's really what I'm hearing. So I feel like this Scorpio is if you are in and out of people's lives, it's because if they're in and out of your life, it's because you're in and out of their life. Okay, so it's kind of like stability, consistency, right? So I definitely feel like you guys are mastering your emotions. Okay, 
You're mastering your emotions. You're balancing things out. You're peaceful with how things are going. A lot of you guys can be doing some type of um, something either during the day or weekly that boosts your energy. Okay, this can be exercise. This can be music. I'm also getting butterflies as transformation piece. Okay, so I'm also getting... You guys, you need to take the God and God of that you need to so you don't be so defensive. You see how she has the sword? I feel like you guys can be being defensive about a situation, about communication, but you're really having to rush. You're having to take a, a rest so that you can get some type of clarity here. I feel like you guys are unhappy with a situation, but I do see that you guys are moving forward into calmer waters. You guys have new opportunities that you guys are going towards. This can definitely be um, an offer of love because the Ace of Wands is also sex. So some of you guys can be having sex as well um, between the first. Between the first and the 11th of November, you guys can be having sex with a Virgo, a Taurus, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But the Ace of Wands, if this isn't some type of sex, someone is very endowed. So if this is a guy, girl, you better be ready. If you a girl, guy, you better be ready. So the Ace of Wands is definitely like some type of emotional, um, like passionate opportunity. Whether this is something that you want out of love, whether this is something that you want out of life. Um, it's something that's coming towards you. It's some type of commitment to Taurus. So if that's what I'm saying. It might be some type of sex that you guys have with somebody and then you guys are committed or someone wants a commitment. The hair fan. The hair fan. So the, I'm, I'm definitely feel like someone wants a commitment here. And I feel like that's going to be the reason why you're unhappy. You could be unhappy because you want a commitment when it comes to this person and you're having to go within, trying to find some type of clarity here. The seven of cups of risk because I feel like you might be making some type of emotional decisions. Not really thinking clearly, Scorpio. Yeah, you're asking yourself if, okay, you're asking yourself if you should stay in this relationship because you feel like someone feels like that they're not getting their just due. Someone feels like their passion or their affection, their attention is getting unnoticed. That there's a lot of people involved. Someone doesn't want to deal with a lot of suitors. So either you have a lot of suitors or they have a lot of suitors. And they're like, look, I don't want to compete for your love. I don't want to compete for your love. That's somebody. Somebody's saying, I don't want to compete for your love. If you want to have hoes, you can have hoes, but you're not having me. Okay? And I feel like this can be why a relationship didn't turn out well. So either you had a lot of people or they had a lot of people. And I feel like the reason why you're making this type of, you're, you're having to make, you're trying to figure out what you want to do. But I feel like, again, if you have a lot of suitors, a relationship is not going to work, Scorpio, because you have too many, you, you're, you're giving your energy away to too many different people, okay? So, whether this is conversation, sex, whatever, whoever is doing this, a relationship isn't going to work out because someone doesn't want to compete. Someone doesn't want to deal with the same old bullshit that they dealt with two to seven years ago, two to seven months ago, what have you. That's literally what I'm hearing. So, again, you guys can be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Gemini, a Virgo, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Every baby, there's a lot of people in here. So, all the signs are going to be in here, Scorpio. So, there's a lot of people involved in this situation. And, yeah, let me know. Ashe. I love you guys like I love myself.